Right, folks, um, without further ado, I try not to overthink things. things. <laughs> I try not to overthink things too much because there might not be a beer left in the fridge. Fuck, was that the last one, was it? Oh, shit, we're fucked now, aren't we? Hmm, okay. Well, uh, how many minutes is that? Oh, it's only 27 seconds, they're great. Right, so what's happened, darling? Um, I'll put the cigarette down. Oh, without further ado, I'll fucking tell you the story. Mm. So, um, I see. <laughs> I don't know where that hard cider can's been, so I better not put my cigarette on that. I might catch something. Like, um, what happened was, as you can see with all these, uh, loin king, I'm the loin king. I pretend I'm a lion, but I am, um, I'm a, I reign... <laughs> <laughs> my reign from the loin outwards, you know. So what happened was I um I went to um beg for um I call it the triple AF. I belong to the triple AF. It's the artist no the Alcoholic Artist of Australia Fund, darling, uh, the triple AF and um we've had a little um chit chat and we've decided that um fuck um Arts grant. Who needs an arts grant, darling? See, what happens when the government gives you a grant to do some art? You are beholden to these people. Um, so you can't obviously say, look, government, you can't. I don't like how you're fracking because um, if you want to keep painting your little faggot watercolours in the dark with rainbow motifs, um, you've got to lick the government's balls while you do so. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Q&A, Tony Jones, yo. I hope your glasses aren't fogging up um, while you're licking Hannah Gadsby's balls. Right, darling, so what happened was, um, let me have another drag on my cigarette. Um, we're trying to make cancer come as quickly as possible. Cancer can't get its cock hard because it's had too much alcohol and drugs, so um, cancer can't fucking come quick enough, uh, sadly, for me. I wish it would hurry the fuck up, but then I might be able to um, ask um, the government if I could qualify for some fucking morphine, you know. And, Hi, government, I've got cancer now. Can you give me some... Pain relief. I tried the junkie route. Um, I didn't um <laughs> hold any grannies um up at syringe point. That's not a syringe. This is a syringe, and um nothing like that. I'm kind of a sweetheart, really. <laughs> would you would you believe it? So anyway, without further ado, what's this fucking thing? Oh, this is um <laughs> this is a um. Hey kids, I hope you've gone to bed because you should be watching this shit. But um. For the adults out there, hi adults, um, if you're not drunk or wasted already, this is a wombat coming out of his um, <laughs> wombat cave. Uh, I'm not sure if it's historically his <laughs> historically accurate if a wombat lives in a fucking cave, but um, for the um, purpose of this shit, this will have to do. Right, so what I, um, I made my way to... <laughs> evil Goolagong, she's like a cross between Evil Knievel and... Um, Yvonne Goolagong, she's like a stunt, stunt trans who has an amazing uh, back, backhand down the line winner. Oh, good on you, Yvonne Goolagong. I remember you when you, when you, when you were a kid. No, I don't. <laughs> I don't think I was around then. I'm, I think I'm, my parents were toying with the idea, but um, six abortions later, I was born, you know. So what happened was, um, I was on my way to the, um, my landlady's house and I said, look, hello, H. Her name starts with H, so we're get, from from now on she will be referred to as H. Is that all right with you, faggot? Yes, that's great. All right, here we go. Tick. Great. So what happened was, um, because um, I hope I've got a sense of humour. Um, I went past this house. It was number forty six. I remember very well. It was number. It reminded me of fucking Valentino Rossi, you know, oh, about forty years ago though. And he was still winning a few races for a fucking... Um, who did he used to ride for? No, yes, Valentino Rossi. He had a Yamaha that come, didn't he? Yamaha, Valentino Rossi, you're amazing. But, um... Why are we focusing on this crocodile? Is it a crocodilian or is it a reptilian? Or is it a uh, penguin, penguin book that's had a sex change? Right, so... I rescued these books. And what I did was I, um... Because I'm a Christian. <laughs> you probably won't believe this because I don't fucking... Amen. I don't really do that much. I like listening to that shit. I mean, I'm... <laughs> now, this is the truth, Jesus. 
I've tried doing the sing along in church, and I sing out of tune. I don't mean to. I just, <laughs> I've just got one of those bloody voices, you know. You go, um, Ave Maria. Uh, I uh, consequently, I shut the fuck up, and I let all the um, the devout um, exercise their vocal cord, the right to um, aerate their vocal cords with um, spirituality. And I just shut the fuck up at the back. Of I like the pew with the hardest wood. I like um, because I'm a bit of a masochist. Don't tell anyone. Shh. I'm a masochist, darling. I like my kneecaps to hurt when I'm praying, so I go right at the back when no one's looking, and um. I'll get my knee on top of a couple of drawing, <laughs> couple of drawing pins, and if I can, if no one's looking and there's no children in church, I'll start self-flagellating because that's um, like I said, um, <laughs> it's like performing an autopsy on yourself, but um, no, <laughs> a castration autopsy lobotomy on myself um, while I'm holding a cat of nine towers in between my teeth and rubbing my nipples with um. <laughs> my third hand, my non-binary hand, um, does the reach around for me while I um pray to some faggot in singular convalescence. <laughs> Silly cut out of Sally. So the first book I rescued from um the children, um, I I don't know if you know this bloke. He's kind of funny. He thinks he's religious, but I think he's a fucking comedian personally. His name is Matt Walsh. I repeat, Matt Walsh. And he's got this podcast, and he goes on. He rambles on a bit, obviously. He's, um... <laughs> he doesn't want to see um nine-year-olds getting um, mastectomies and whatnot, so he's a bit passionate. And who can blame him? Who can blame him? Uh, I'm sure Jesus doesn't blame him. I don't. What the fuck's this? <laughs> this is a wheel. This is a wheel that fell off the, um... Here we go. This is exactly where it fell off. Look. Actually, let's try and fix it. <laughs> Now, this is my um, arts and crafts hour. If your wheel falls off your fucking chair, turn the chair and then put... Hi, cat. How are you, darling? Then put wheel... Fuck, I almost fell over then. Oh, shit. Um, put wheel back in owl. Put wood in owl. That's, Engl uh, that's Yorkshire for close the door is put wood in owl. Put the wood in the hole. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. So this is what it should like once you put it back. Give it a bit of a whirl, see if it sticks. <laughs> oh, God, he's got such a sense of humour. God, you're a funny bastard. Oh, did I say bastard? Sorry, God. No one knows who your dad is, God, so I suppose you are a bastard technically, but I'm sure why. So I don't know who my mother was fucking while, while my father was working hard in the desert, but she was fucking someone. Um, she was fucking me at the same time, and she didn't even know it. But um, that's all right. My asshole can take it. My asshole takes big um, <laughs> big things for rainbows. Hi, I'm a victim, darling. Oh, am I a victim? All right. So this is the uh, fuck me. <laughs> I'm such a victim. My uh, the wind changed. My back stayed in the same position. So now I walk like a fucking hunchback. Right. This is the first book. <laughs> it's actually called my first book. Of Southern African animal tracks. So if you see this, darling, it's not a wombat. It is a life-size tracks of. <laughs> Let's have a look. I'm going to open up a random page because we've got lots to get through, darling. So this will have to be like a um, <laughs> not a, a pre-refresher course. It's like um, you spray your mouth with some Amway mint before you suck some dick in a laneway to pay for a sex change. But anyway, let's go in the middle of the book somewhere. Uh, Abraka Jesus. What's this? This is a, uh, a Bonte Bock. <laughs> what the fuck am I? Now, darling, if you want to talk about the Bonte Bock, you might need some glasses so you can sound, um, so you don't sound uncouth like me. <laughs> oh, my God. Here we go. The Bonte Bock is found in only a few nature reserves. This buck lives in small herds in areas 